Okay, so now we're going to take a look uh, at this one here, finding the general solution. And there's two things. Remember what I said initially we have to do. So the first thing was to do what? Standard form, okay? So we're going to uh, try and figure out what does this look like in standard form. Right now it is not in standard form. So see if you can fix it. Okay, so um, in standard form, what, anybody have a strategy to get this in standard form? Divide by x. Yeah, we can remove the x if I divide each piece. So divide it by x, and I'll end up with, I'm going to write it like this just so that I can see the pieces. And then that means I can see my P of X. So it's 2 over X. And Q of X, which is X. Okay. So this time when we go to uh, use it in that form, we're going to get our integrating factor. Um, oh, and my apologies. Uh, that's a negative there, so that makes this uh, also a negative because I'm subtracting this time. So uh, there should be a negative sign in front. Okay, so what's the integral going to be here? Negative 2 over x? Yeah, negative 2 natural log x. So I'm going to get e to the negative 2 natural log x. And I'm, a, I'm trained to do this. This makes me itchy. It makes me want to do something. What is it that I'm trying to, uh, you know, if I saw this question immediately, I'm thinking, oh, oh I've got to do this. The exponent's part of it, so let's do the exponent law. Um, if you didn't see it, this is the exponent law part. But now that it's in the exponent part, I'm still, I still feel this itch, like I have to do something. Yeah. Good, yeah, yeah. E to the natural log, it's function and it's inverse. So that makes it a whole lot easier on me. That's going to be my, uh, my integrating factor. Okay? So that means y equals... Now if I do 1 over the integrating factor... Okay, that of course is going to bring x squared back to the top, but we can do that again after this. We'll just set everything up. Um, Q of x times... Um, the integrating factor, which is 1 over x squared. So for this particular equation, I'm going to have x squared up top, the integral of 1 over x. Oh. That's, it likes to go to sleep. It's, it's last period before spring break, so you know, it's feeling like you right now. It's, it's trying to get out of thinking anymore. That's weird, eh, when the machines can sense it's spring break? Okay. So we have uh, x squared. Um, 1 over x, that's an easy antiderivative. So what's that going to be? Good. Um, and remember, it's a little bit more specific than that. Right? There is a constant in there. So natural log x plus a constant. And that means uh, another way I could possibly see this if I wrote it down would be uh, like this. Okay, so there's a constant times x squared at the end of it. Okay, so um, we're going to take a look at another just to practice a bit more. So is this in standard form? Maybe. Yes, no, maybe so. Yes, yes. yes, it is in standard form. So if it is in standard form, number one, it's, it is. Um, it might help you to look at it like this. Uh, whoops, sorry, there's a minus sign there. Minus uh, tan t. Oh, and of course, it's not an x this time, it's a t. So this should be uh, dt. So this might help... Uh, you know, you see that it is, in fact, in standard form. So that means I can tell you right away, then, that P of x is negative tan t. <coughs> and Q of x is 1. Oh. What's standard form? Standard form? Good question. <laughs> you don't want to go too far into this without knowing standard form. This is standard form up here, OK? Um, this first thing that we talked about. For this type of 
linear differential equation. It's actually called a first order linear differential equation. This is the standard form that we would like to look at them in. So for all the types of problems that are a first order differential equation, we can rearrange them and one form is to look like this. It's the easiest one we can use for solving uh, with this method I'm showing you. Okay, it makes it easy to see P and Q. I'm glad you said it because if you didn't, nobody else would. And then you'd all go to break saying, what the heck was Mr. Joyce talking about? <laughs> yeah, senile already, eh? <laughs> okay. Um, so and basically we can rearrange it in any form. It just means that we're in the form that we're used to looking at, so it's easy to see P and Q. So um, the second thing we need to do is find that integrating factor. So that's going to be e to the um, oops, negative tan t. So um, what is the integral for uh, negative tan t? Well, what's the tangent? That's a tough one. Yeah, natural log cos. So this one here. Um, the, the negatives are going to cancel because it's going to be e to the negative, negative natural log cos x. Or sorry, there's a t in this problem. So that's just going to be e to the natural log of the cosine of t. And those two, of course, should make you itchy. Like you have to do something there to cancel out the exponential with that natural log. 